So is there, again, back to the basics, is there anything for free? No. Okay, are there any uh, checks? No. Uh, there is a, yeah, yeah, I see one. Okay, now, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, my brain's starting to develop now. I see a check, you're right. Wait, is that GG? Wait a minute, no, no, uh, hold on. This is a good check. My left, is that, is that, that's my plan? Or? Um, normally, like, uh, like the level that you're at, you want to push the king to the left side. You want to push everything to the left side of the board. You don't want to go, you don't want to go to the right side of the board. It's, it's just, it's, it's a lot harder because the king is, um, king is much more open. Okay, so it should be starting, right? Yeah, okay. Was aborted, I think. Okay, so now it's your move. So, um, yeah, so, right, so push a pawn. No, see, I was going to do this. Okay, so what's, what, your opponent is attacking your pawn. So yeah. you want to protect the pawn. So I need to move my knight then, which is fine. because I'm gonna That's go, fine. I'm gonna move yeah, it's a good move. Now, what I would normally do here is, uh, I, I want to... But remember, remember in this game, you're not white, so your opponent gets the moves before you. So, he attacked your pawn, you attacked his pawn, and now... Um, He's just moving up now. He moved his knight up, yes. So now... Now, I'm, I'm a little bit confused, but it's okay. Try to protect okay. your pawn. Your pawn is free here. My pawn is free. Is it's it under attack. He could take your pawn next move, so try to protect it. Yeah, and actually, yes, this is a very good move. So you always want to, in front of your king and queen, push the pawns ahead so that your bishops can move out. You see how this, this, this bishop on the light square? It can go down the whole diagonal. And you, you also want, to, you want your bishop to always go on these diagonals. So it's very good to make sure your bishops have space in front of your king and queen. Yeah. So yeah. you're developing, so what's... Threatening. Okay, now he's just developing, right? Yes. Um, I want to get my bishop out of this hole it's in, so I have more options to play from left. Right, you want to develop and get castled. We discussed this last time. Yeah, I was wondering if, if, he, has any, if he had anything that it was in, uh, threatening here. So now, so he's, now trying he's trying to threaten him. something. Yeah. Um, what is he trying to threaten? He's trying to threaten your pawn. Yeah. So how, how do you... How, so again, if you, if you move the king over two squares, you get, get the king on the side. If, if white takes the pawn, you take the knight, he'll take your rook, you'll take with the king, right? And that would be six for six. Yeah. So it's actually a fair trade. So it's completely fine. Okay. Okay, hold up. Hold up. But wait a minute. If he, if he takes the what for... If, if you castle your king here, you protect the pawn, right? Yes. The With the rook. Because, because he, he doesn't have the, um, the bishop to rule me over anymore, right? Right. Well, he can still take the pawn, but what happens is he gives away a bishop and a knight for one rook and one pawn. And knights and bishops are worth three, a rook is worth five, and a pawn is worth one. So it's a good trade for you. Okay. If he does, yeah. If he does, does have to do that. Boom. 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 Bang, bang, bang. Overall, though, he's sort of developing more than I am, though. Well, not? well, the thing though is when you push the pieces out too quickly, what happens is that you can use your pawns to push the pieces back the other way. So he's trying to attack you at the start, but you can use your pawns to slowly push his his knight back. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want to do here. Um, okay. If I push my pawn up, I push my pawn, he takes pawn, I take pawn, he takes knight, and I can't come back from that. No, I can't actually, because I have my queen. I kind of like that. Yeah. Unless it doesn't go... Right, so, so here... Right, so you're doing you're doing great so far. So now, again, this is actually a double attack. So you see here he's attacking your knight, but he's also attacking your king. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, it's not about that where he gets something from it. Right? Because if I put my knight in front, still gets rolled here. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yes, he has to abandon. Because you, when you move the knight back, now the knight's not under attack, but you're also not in check. So this is where a double attack doesn't work. No, this is perfect. What if I moved forward then? Is it too dangerous because he can move a pawn and it ruins my entire game or what? Yes, if you put the knight one square up ahead, he would have pushed a pawn and you would have been able to you wouldn't have been able to move the knight because then your king would have been uh, in check. So you would have lost. Yes, this is correct. You want to keep your pieces around the king here. No, this is this is perfect. And now actually one thing, I'm gonna say this again. So see, when you look at this, what you want to do is bring the pieces out. So when you look at the right side of the board, you see this rook, this knight, and this bishop. They, they, they're on their original square. They're not out in the game yet. So you really want to bring those pieces out as well because you want to attack with everything, that, all, all the forces that you have. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. So add, add me something. Yeah, welcome to the room. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm thinking here. Hold up. I have... Um, I can do here is... Let's say I threaten, threaten the knight. I'm just thinking about, just thinking about uh, how much time do I have? 12 minutes? Yeah, you've got plenty of time. I have to move. Moves, moves back, but I develop my pieces by doing that, right? Um, I thought, all, you, it's, all you would have to do is move up a pawn, but I can still capture the knight. But he gets to develop stuff, which is suboptimal for me. I don't like that very much. I don't like that. I don't want to do an even trade where he develops more than I do. Bad. Bad for business. Right. So, so right now you've got this knight and this rook and this bishop. You need to bring them into the game. Yeah. I want to do a double here. That's what I was Okay. Doing. That's fine. Remember, when, when you use the pawns, the purpose of the pawns in the game is to, like, take, take, take squares away from your opponent's pieces. That's a very bad move by your opponent. My opponent does a bad move, but this is my level. So we have to think about... Remember, one of the things you should always be looking for is if there's anything for free. Like, once you've made your first set of moves, once you get the king out of the center of this board, you want to... Uh, you, you, wanna, you, you then always want to be aware of if your opponent leaves something for free. Oh, I see it. Bishop on pawn means that he has to move away, but he loses. Right, but it's it's one it's one for nothing, possibly. Possibly, and if he doesn't, then he he gets crushed. Right. So so here now, look at the position very closely. You'll see that he's attacking your rook, right? With his yeah. queen. I see it. But is there a way you can protect your rook here? So th think about your knight. Uh, well, think about your knight. I see it. Okay. Yeah, I, I see it, but it's not... Um, I see a bad one. Is there a good one? Is there a good one to protect? The goal is to protect this rook in the corner. Is there a good one? Moving my knight away so that if he takes it... He gets he gets pumped by my queen. Mm-hmm. But then he gets a then he, then he gets a, he gets a free pawn. I don't like that very much. There's no free pawn here. You're right because then I think it was I think it, I think it was a rook. But I would do the most here would be like this. It's the best move. It's the only move actually. No, this is this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. X pawn gets rolled, takes knight, gets pumped. It's good. Okay. And so now you've brought most of your pieces into the game. Everything is good um, pretty much here. So, so like, you want to try to see if you can attack your opponent's forces. If 
If I move a pawn up, I develop. And if we trade, it's even, but I develop the pawn. It's a raw win for me. Mm -hmm. Now, I was going to say one thing also. Your opponent pushed the pawn in front of his king. Um, that's something you don't want to do very much in the game. You don't want to push your pawns in front of your king far up ahead because that opens your king. Your king becomes open. Your opponent's pieces can come around your king more easily, which is why you generally want to keep the pawns on on the squ on the squares where they are originally. Okay. That's actually a great move, um, but not for the reason. That, so, like, this is a very good move because you kind of open you open something up here by taking with this pawn. Do Do you see? Maybe you you know what files are, right? Why is it? File, file. So, like, if, if you see where the queen is right now, do you see where the queen is? This is considered the B file. You see, because it's B, obviously, and it's, it's, it's eight squares on the, on, on, in a row, right? Yeah. So this is considered a file. So, like, when I say the B file, I mean, you see the B? So all the squares are, like, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8. So, like, files, if you open a file, it means there becomes, like, you can attack something on this line of these eight squares. So by taking with the pawn, you actually kind of did something. You you opened something possibly here. Okay. Um. I could have attacked with with the the bishop. The right. Bishop so 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 remember remember you 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 said you called it the the lobster attack. Yeah yeah. So you want to try to get some pieces close to the close to this this king. I have an idea here. If if I if I push my bishop out i threaten the knight now it has to move somewhere because he moves to the bottom left but i, I can eat it if you do that so he has to go home because if there's anything else he's done so that's what i would i mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't want to take your word i i can't want to just do this and, and we'll see how it goes Right, so so think think about this this bishop on this square or on the other square, which is h three. When you get a bishop on one of these squares near the king, try to think about ways to to bring a queen or a rook towards the king. If you get these bishops on the on the square on these two squares near a queen, um, it's it's very very good generally. So, so one more time, if you get something. So you that... see the bishop on this this f three square, right on this light square. Yeah. When you get a bishop on that light square or the square opposite it, which is h3, it's very, very dangerous because you, you can try to bring another piece around and attack the king. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at the things I could do. Okay. Now, I could take the knight. If I take the knight, I lose my bishop. Right. Well, what did I say? I, I said like if you have a bishop near this king, you want to try to you want to try to keep it there. You don't want to tr give the bishop for the knight generally. So is there again back to the basics? Is there anything for free? No. Okay. Are there any uh, checks? No. Uh. There is a yeah yeah I see one. Okay now I uh, yeah 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 it's uh, my brain's starting to develop now. I see a check. You're right. Wait, is that GG? Wait a minute. No no uh, hold on. This is a good check. Yeah, it is checkmate because the king cannot move because you see this bishop. It, it the square in the corner. The bishop stops the king from moving. So this is checkmate. Wait. Yeah, this is okay. checkmate. No, it's game over. It's GG. Okay, I I I was blunderberry once this this match. I don't want to see why. No, it's it's perfect. Okay, let's do one game. Let's do one game though. Let's just do one game, okay? Yeah, yeah. What was my blunder? I did two blunders. Um. I mean, maybe when you push the pawn in front of your bishop, but you didn't make any blunders. You didn't make any blunders in that game. Oh no, that's the opponent. He did blunders. No, you played that game perfectly. That game was good. That game was very, very good. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do you invite me? Oh, I'm, the game started, didn't it? What did it? I think so. 
He should be white against me. There should be a second board window for you. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, all right, let's play. Play some chess. Good. Okay, so I'll, I'll play something um, a little bit different. I'll play the French defense. Uh, yeah, I've never seen it before. Yeah, most people will probably play this. They'll put the pawn right, right in front of your pawn. They'll play symmetrical. They'll play the same, same first move most of the time. Mm, okay. Well, I thought that the French defense would be the surrender. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not. It's not a. It's not a good opening though. Like the computers that that the best computers, like the Alpha, the Google computers, have decided it's a bad opening. So it's not. That's not too far from the truth. Okay. So okay, I will just push my pawn. Oh, I see it now. But I do, I, I do have a reply here. Um, yeah. Damn, if we, if, if we tussle mid, you win with, with a plus one because of the queen. Right, right. but, but all, if you, if you, you, could, you could also take the pawn and move the bishop. This is also okay, but you have to be very careful um, to not, not lose something. So I'll just play this move. Wait, you could just take my my pawn for free, right? No, no, no I was in check. Your bishop put my king in check, so I have to stop yeah. the check. Okay, let me think about this. Knight here is good because knight will protect both sides of the board, and with no. Bishop, okay, knight, bishop, bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, then you get my pawn for free, and I hate that. It's still your move, though, after you take. So you don't have to lose the pawn for free, though. You're right. Let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Bishop, bishop. Uh, let's say queen, queen thing. Pawn, pawn, pawn. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's it's even. We've traded the normal normal things. So so you want to develop. This is good. Hi check. Oh I see it. Sorry about that. You're good. Uh, okay. Um. Okay, not bad. Good, very good. So I'm just developing. I'm doing what I what I, what you should do. Just okay. just get the king out of the center of the board. Okay, so you're actually going to go the other way. You're gonna you're gonna go you're gonna go the other way. So this is what we call like opposite sides. Like I'm gonna go this way, and I assume you're going the other way probably here. Yeah. Which is yeah, which which normally when this happens, it's like it's a big attack because you you try to attack the other person's king, but both sides are going on the on the other other side of the board. So it's usually whoever gets uh, their king gets attacked first. Okay, so overall, uh, I I can't really tell you what your like a, a tone if that was like a a good a bad. Uh, it's pro it's probably not not good where you're at, but it's 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 like it's a very aggressive approach when you put the king on the on the opposite side of your opponent's king. Cuz it means what happens is is you're basically both players have to go all they just have to berserk. They have to just go all out attack towards the opposing king. Okay. Uh otherwise what would be my option there? Uh move my my knight. Yeah, and go the same way. Since, since it's mirrored, isn't it like we both were kind of, you know? Yeah, but, but the thing is here, actually, your king is actually easier to attack than my king. 
because my pieces are going to come really fast here, as you'll see. Because because where the king and the rook are, there are weaknesses. That your pawns are going to become very, very, uh, very weak very quickly here. Okay. So like since you went the other way, you have to try to you have to try to attack me because I'm I'm going to be coming for you with all my pieces on the other side of the board. Uh, actually, what you should have done is you should have pushed the pawn in front of your rook, not not this one, because this actually means makes my attack easier here. I'm going to attack your king really quickly now. Okay, um, I have notifications on, and I turned them off, but they're still on for some reason. I don't know how to turn them off entirely. It's okay. I turn it off. Uh, you know, because I'm getting like notifications that are sort of annoying. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not hearing them though, so. Um. Yeah, they're like appearing. In okay. Notifications. Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to turn it off. Yeah, uh, I don't really yeah I'm not. I'm not seeing it right now because because I'm since I'm playing you, I'm able to use my screen now. I know what to go with. It's a hard focus now. Um, it's gonna be tough then. Mm. Oh, actually, you know what? Just just click on one of the other tabs. Just just uh, click on one of the other tabs. Click on like the second tab. Just click on those goggles. The goggles. Or the search, like the binoculars, whatever you call it. It says events. The second one. Yeah, just click on that and just leave it there. And you won't see anything. Oh, that should be smart. Yeah, smart. yeah. Just ignore it all. Okay, thank you. That, that, that fixed it. Saved it. Okay. Um, there's, like, there's like no opportunities here. I, I don't see anything. Yeah, so, so what you should try to do is you, you should be pushing your pawns in front of the uh you should be pushing the pawns in front of like your rook and your knight like this you, you have to do this and here it's good because your king is on the other side of the board um but the problem is if you look at your king and your rook and my king and my rook my king my king protects the pawn in front of the the king protects the pawn and the rook protects the pawn your king and your rook don't actually protect all three pawns over here on the queen side because it's two pieces so your your pawns are much weaker than my pawns which is why like Normally, I would not advise you to uh, to play like this because it's very, very dangerous. Okay. And now I'm actually I have a big threat here. Okay, so you actually stopped. What what what, what did I? Ha I was threatening a checkmate there. I was yeah, threatening to take your pawn. On pawn right? mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty pretty tough. Huh? Uh, yeah, because now you you have one less uh, one less knight around your king. Your king is is kind of on its own here with these pawns. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. Uh, if I uh, take pawn, uh, take pawn, then you take pawn and GG. Exactly. Yeah, it's already really, really bad here. But I'm actually going to do something else. I'll, I'll, I'll ignore it. I'll do this one. Right, so here, I, here I, I actually have a checkmate in one move, um, but I'll, I'll play the other one. So I'll, I'll make this check. 
So I'm gonna do the same, you're gonna see the same checkmate here. So what happens is the same checkmate, except now I have the knight and the queen. You see, like, I get this queen right next to your king, but I have something with it, and so your king can't escape. So, like, remember before it was like a bishop or a pawn that was near the queen? Here I have the knight that protects the queen. So it's like you need these two, you just, you need two pieces to create the checkmate here. Yeah, I, I can feel it coming. You had, like, you, had, you had like four of them back to back to back. Right, exactly. No, that that's... That, that's kind of the point. It's like it's the checks, and then I use the two pieces just to to get right there and just just finish finish off the king. Okay. Yeah. So, the, um, damn, this is uh, this is crazy. Uh, the yeah, I get it. Like, there's the big like you know, there's a big um, skill gap, but that's like I feel like I can't breathe there. I can't do anything at all. Okay, so let's do one more game. This time I'll give you I'll give you some odds. Let's see let's see how you do this one. I'll give you I'll give you odds. You'll notice I'm missing something here. Great success. So I'm giving you an extra queen. Okay. Um, trying to see what we're doing, so it's kind of like uh. Well, you should still play the same way. Don't change change what you're doing because of that. R remember, you want to like you want to bring your pieces out normally, like like I said before. So right right now you're plus plus nine. That's um slight mistake. Yeah, you're right. I okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So I saw something and then I got to attach this idea. So I went through it anyway, oh. even though it wasn't good anymore. What what'd you want to do? Do you want to move your bishop? Yeah, um it it, it it's done. Um, okay. I thought your knight was still blocking your rook and I could capture your uh, bishop and put your Oh, okay. Okay. So so yeah, you're tr you're trying to take 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 the bishop for free. Yeah, and get checkmate. Yeah. That's yeah. No, what you should have done is just do this follow the same basics of like bring the pieces out and then then try to attack even though I have a queen queen less. And now of course it gets even worse cuz there's this is a this actually is what we what you saw before. This is a double attack, a fork. So I hit two pieces at the same time, and now you lose the rook because your king has to move. Yikes. Okay, let's take the rook. I'll push a pawn up. So actually what you're going to see me do here is like, you, you see how you bring all these pieces out? I'm just going to use my pawns to push your pieces back to take more space from you. So like, you, you see when you made this check, I pushed my pawn up. Now I'm going to push your bishop back again. times now i'm gonna push push everything back again so th this is why you actually you want to move your pawns with your pieces and not just your 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 bishops your knights your queens and your rooks because what's happening is i'm using my pawns so i'm like i have more space but your pieces are going backwards as well here 
because the the bishop and the knight and everything is worth less than my uh, is worth less yeah. than pawns. Okay, so I will just push your push your knight back here. Yeah, it's it's just it's very hard. Obviously, the game's game's kind of gone 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 badly, but. It's 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 a tough game though. I mean, it's one of those things you you spend you, sp you have to spend a lot of time. But I think if you just learn some basic patterns when you're playing these these eight hundred guys, like you'll 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 you will beat them. Because even the guy you were playing before, like you were, uh, you, you should have won every game against him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, that I, I did a couple. Uh, well, I had got those blunders. Mm-hmm. I'm not done a couple of those. But but also, if you saw if you saw those, there was one game that you made a mistake in where you had a checkmate. If you had if you had played that game after the the couple of puzzles that you'd seen uh, that that we'd looked at, you you would have seen the checkmate immediately. Okay. Oh, I can't do that, right? Yeah, this is like this is a very uh, this is what you call a pin. So you can't move the piece because then your king is. Is doing badly, so okay. So let's just um... sometimes I got yeah I got lobster <laughs> no game. Yeah, so so like here the problem is I have more. I have two rooks. You have one rook, and the the rooks they're just so strong that when I have two and you only have one, it's it's kind of hard to uh hard to hard to hard to 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 play. So okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll I'll do something different this time. Right. So now it's all it's it's close to the same material. Trying to get ahead of time here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you, you 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 you're like map. You already mapped out all the possible things on left or right side, right? So so we're we're in what's called the end game when you have like very very few pieces on the board. So like I already know there's a certain position that I will win every single time because I know the the correct sequence of moves to win the game. So I'm I'm very close to that point where I just I know the sequence of moves to le that leads directly to a win for me, no matter what you do. You're actually doing completely fine here. It's it's hard to explain how, how you're doing yeah, fine, but you are doing very well here. If I try to get the piece right, you go left and you get value. If I if I don't, you're gonna end up putting your uh, rook down to protect, and it's gonna be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. I exactly. Yeah. Right now, this is a mistake because what happens now is by by pushing the pawn, I, I it's the same thing except it's not a check. But I use the pawn and the rook, and you'll see when I move this rook up the board, the pawn protects the rook, and I'm going to make a queen. The pawn's going to the la last square again, and so it's 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 uh it's it's losing now. 
Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, because it's like now the, the pawn and the rook, they, they, they help each other. It's, it's always like the, this combination of like the two pieces that, that goes down the board. Um, and actually, do you know how to, do you know how to checkmate if your opponent only has a, has a king on the board? If you have like a king and a queen? Uh, no. Okay, then, then just, just keep playing this game out and I'll show, I'll show you how to do it. Um, So like the way you checkmate is so you see your where your king is and where my queen is. I leave the queen one square away, and I, I basically wait until you move the king. So I'm gonna push this pawn. So right, so now that the king is on this edge of the board, you see I just basically keep the queen one square away from the king, like this. I'm zoned out. So I'm gonna, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you. I force your king back up the board, and then I bring my king to, to, to win. Yeah, I just zoning, and then you run yeah. your king around to get, to get my right. pawns or end the game entirely. Right. So I, I bring this queen to this square. So there's a, you, you have basically these, these three squares. The queen, the queen moves to this square, and now I just bring the king all the way over. And I'm going to put the queen right next to the king for the checkmate. Um, and it's, it's just it's unstoppable here. Oh, and by not moving your queen, you're not yeah. closing stalemate. Right, I just leave this queen right here. If I push the queen up one square, if I moved it to this b6 square, that would be stalemate. But I leave the queen on this one square where you always have this one square ahead of your king. And then I bring the king and I put the queen right on this this uh, b7 square for forced checkmate. So, like, if, if you, um, well, I guess, uh, actually... Uh, yeah, so when I move the queen up two squares, this is checkmate. So like you put the queen one square away, and it doesn't even matter um, where 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 your king goes. I keep the queen on the square, and I just bring the king, and then I use the two pieces to force the checkmate here. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you have to be mindful not to not to force stalemate, right? Yeah, yeah. You if stalemate, yeah. If your opponent can't move anything, but this is actually like it's very um, it's it's very forced. Like when like. If if you if you if you put the queen list where you leave always always leave one square for the king it's uh it's 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 always um it's always a checkmate you just don't want to bring the queen too close again you use this time it's not the pawn and the queen or the bishop and the queen this time it's the king and the queen but it's always the two pieces together that that lead to uh that lead to the checkmate okay so but I, again I, like it's 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 so hard obviously but but you'll you'll get you'll get you're already you're already better. It's just remember, like, develop, and then think about stuff is free, and think about checks. Yeah, I, I never thought about um, protecting my three pawns in front of my king and leaving them in there like as like a, as, like a stronghold. Yeah, that, it, that's that's actually very important. The thing, of course, when the game gets very far and there aren't as many like bishops and knights, is not to get your king checkmated where it can't go up the board with the three pawns stopping the king from moving. Yeah. But yeah. It kind of leaves you vulnerable for the uh, the ice rink thing. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah.